Kiwi Garden directors Tane Randall and Joanne Edwards produce freeze-dried snacks for kids. They were able to fast-forward the development of their business into Asia with a grant from Agmart. Agmart is an independent trust set up by the government. It invests in programs exploring market opportunities, innovative ideas and developing future leaders within the agribusiness sector. We live in Hawke's Bay and it was really interesting for us when we came back from the UK that we're in this fantastic place, fruit bowl of New Zealand, grew everything, but you know, at various times you needed snacks for kids that are you know, convenient. Because we freeze dry, we get a shelf life from that process, we take the water out, but we leave all the bioactives, all the, all, all the goodies in there, and you know, like they're nice little crunchy things and they, they taste really good. My father owns the freeze drying facility over the road and he had made that accessible and we tried these particular products with them and the kids loved them and that was how it all began. The whole range reflects our philosophy around no nasties, so we wanted something that had a really clean label that parents um, and people that are health conscious can look at the back of it, they understand what those things are, there's nothing complicated in there, um, it's just real food without the water. This is a real slice of apple and when you look at the back of the ingredient pouch it's actually just crunchy Hawke's Bay apples, that's all we've got in there. It's like you sliced it up, our technology enables us to leave it sliced without browning so that is one of the benefits of our drying technology is that we don't have to add the preservatives, it just removes the water which helps us to preserve it. Our children were really the development team because depending on what they liked and what they didn't like was pretty much what, what went through and I think that was reflected actually with some of the market, the market feedback we got. Our technology we've developed around yoghurt drops for several reasons. Obviously we've had to look at New Zealand's competencies when looking to export and our dairy industry is obviously a, a pillar of that internationally. And also along with our philosophy about good nutritious food, yoghurt is a good go-to for children. We like the concept around the probiotics. Uh, we also like the high, naturally high protein and um, went from there. We're here in what we call the pre-production room. The first step is we actually bring in our base, just natural yoghurt that's contract made for us. And then we throw in our gold kiwifruit puree. That makes our flavoured yoghurt. And then from there, we put the little droplets and we freeze them. So we snap in all the goodness. And then at that stage, they're ready to go into our freeze dryers. It's a continuous freeze dryer. So unlike other freeze dryers, which you open, it's like an oven, you, you know, close the door and bing. Our guys have managed to come up with a pretty nifty little um, bit of technology where we can just pour the stuff at the top and it comes out the bottom. It's a very, very gentle form of drying and it leaves most of you know, all the volatiles, which are the flavours and the, and, the, and the smell, and all the enzymes, all the goodness, because the process is done so softly, all those goodies are left intact. One of the difficulties we had at the start, especially in New Zealand, was no one had really heard of freeze-dried um, snacks. Certainly the process is not very well known, so a big part of our getting the brand out there was actually going there, not exactly forcing it down people's throats, but doing a lot of demos, you know, attending a lot of food shows in New Zealand, a lot of promotional stuff, and as much as anything, just getting people to try it. Once they have, it's certainly been very effective. In the first couple of years, until we got our capacity up, now, we had a lot of orders, but we couldn't produce enough. So now it's 90% we're export focused. Main market is China. Just below that, we're reasonably well established in Singapore and Hong Kong. So things are going well there, but at the same time, we're very conscious that our shop window is New Zealand. We are pretty happy with how we're going in, in New Zealand as well, but there are two main supermarkets being customers for us. The egg mart were good because at the time, you know, we need to get offshore to get our volumes up and they would help us with market research and assisting with the trade shows over there. And then further on down the line, when we needed to expand, they were able to help us you know, with a wee bit of infrastructure. So Eggmart's a charitable trust, and it was set up by the government in 1987. It came about from the wind-up of the British and New Zealand Phosphate Commissions, and the funds that were returned, which were around about 32 million to the government, they chose to put that money into a charitable trust for the benefit of agriculture, horticultural and forestry interests. So as far as Kiwi Garden is concerned, 
we are in the in market space and we are looking to seed fund innovative up and coming companies that have got some potential to grow. The trustees certainly thought that this had some real good pluses. So the investment is on the grounds that we seed fund the money so that they can develop marketing programs, get to understand it and integrate with their customers in China in this situation. It's very independent, so we, we can make within our within the limits of our trustee, we can make our own decisions of where we put our funding. And currently it's based on our three strategic pillars. We work in conjunction with other funding agencies such as Callahan's, NZTE, we get a lot of referrals from them. So because our funding individually is not large amounts of money, um, we try and we try and ensure that we we work with those other funding agencies. So but we do we we focus on areas that, that they can't do. The process that's involved in the in-market grant with Kiwi Garden is that they have a contract, they have to meet certain milestones, and as they are met from their marketing programs, then we get a, an official report, and that's how we fund them based on those achievements. Not everything goes right for all of the various grants we do, but it's our means of actually keeping a track of how things are proceeding. It's a growth story. We like the growth stories. And if you look at what has been happening in the, in the factory as we've walked around, we've taken a product at $3 a kilo, being milk powder, turned it into something that's worth about $45 a kilo. The added value is what we're looking for. And that's a really good success story for a New Zealand company. I think anyone who starts a business, you know, the, the stress is involved, you know, the wolves at the door. And the other thing was, you know, my wife and myself, our background's not kids' snack foods, so the FMCG business in New Zealand, no idea. Exporting, you know, with no idea. So um, we've gone into it big wide eyes, but it's been, it has been really interesting, the people we've met, and it also, it makes you actually realise in New Zealand, we have got very good manufacturers. And New Zealand's a very, you know, being like it is, it's pretty tough domestically, because of the scale, but um, yeah, it's been really good meeting people, because if you do make it in New Zealand, you certainly can make it, you know, what we've found as well, um, the offshore thing's pretty good too. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.